back to Sister Circle Live. He's the suave and also oh savvy actor and musician who went from being a Disney kid to a certified sex symbol in the big Whoa. screen blockbuster Superfly. Who right else? My movie too. And with the starring hit role in the series Grownish and a new album under his belt, Trevor Jackson has only not only he's just only grazed, honey, the surface of success. I recently sat down with the boy. He's so cute, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and we really just hashed it out. We really talked about <laughs> everything that out. was going on in his life. Let's take a look. Yeah, okay, now. Yeah. Trevor, welcome. I'm in the circle. circle. You're in the circle. You're in circle it. of trust. You're in it. It's a circle of trust, a circle of love. Let's do it. Now, Trevor, you are, first of all, you had a show last night. Yes. Okay, and somebody had said that they dragged you off of the stage. I was fooled off the stage. Everyone, nobody died. Okay. Nobody got injured. They just tried to kill you. I had a, like, a flash of, like, my life before okay, yeah. me okay, happened, yeah. but uh, we're good, though. That okay, so then it was a good show. It was a good show. It was a great show. Actually, Atlanta, they showed out. They do every time. Um, and it's actually like a storm going on, and they were still in line outside. So mm. I really was just my heart was filled with a lot of love last night. And it was good, man. I worked hard on this album, and I'm glad that they, they uh, F with it. Well, I'm excited for you. Um, you. I had a chance to listen to your album. It is also very lit. Thank you. Thank okay, you very as much. As we say down to the social lit, lit, to the circle, Letitia. Letitia. Yeah, we say something is like Letitia. Letitia. Yeah, you probably do. We all know a Letitia. Yeah. Um, and uh, speaking of your performance, I've followed your career since you were very young. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're basically an anomaly. I mean, your talent is just ridiculous. That is very know? sweet. Of From you rapping, Thank I mean, it's the truth. From rapping to singing, um, you play instruments. You play the guitar. An actor. Um, <laughs> You first started in Disney, mm -hmm. and then you did a movie, well, you did American Crime, mm -hmm. and then you did a Superfly. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Now, this progression is, first it's like, oh, okay, okay, child star, growing, growing, and then it's like Superfly. What was the intentionality behind this progression as an artist? I think, I don't know, I feel like every stage I've been in in my life, I've kind of like done projects that like made sense at the time. So mm -hmm. like when I was eight years old, I did the Broadway show Lion King for mm -hmm. like three years and that kind of like uh, prepared me for everything I'm doing now. And then like you said, I did a few projects on Disney and mm -hmm. then I did American Crime. Then I did Burning Sands mm -hmm. and then Gronish. Um, and then Superfly came along, and I fought really hard for that role. That was mm. a role where they told me they were like, oh, yeah, you're too young. It's not going to work. I was like, look, I'll grow a wrinkle. What do I got to do? <laughs> what do I got to do to be old here? Like, I'll change my voice. Like, you need grays. I, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I just kept hitting up my agents and telling them, I was like, yo, fire for this, fire for this. Uh, and my dad made me watch that movie when I was very young, when I was like seven or eight years old. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't understand at the time why he was so adamant about it. But as I got older and now I'm like a man, I realized how impactful it was. Uh, just for black culture in general. And mm -hmm. I wanted to be a part of the reintroduction to that, the reimagining oh. of that. And um, yeah, I got to do martial arts and wear a long leather jacket. What and else is there left? There's not really anything else in life <laughs> to want. Whoop ass in a long leather jacket and have straight hair. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Your hair was sharp. And uh, yeah, I grew up watching, obviously, you know, Blade was like a huge thing for me. Yeah, I love Blade. Um, I Robot, Matrix, these are all movies that I was super inspired by mm -hmm. as a young boy growing up. So to be able to kind of be on screen and do that was was an honor for sure. Well, I think you did a really good job, and Thank I you think very it much. is. I think that um, it's going to set you up for even bigger roles. As a matter of fact, I feel like I can see you. I could see you in something like Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Simply because you're. I didn't even get a call or an audition or anything for that. So. Well, somebody called the people Some because BS. the yeah. people are very athletic. <laughs> okay, Trevor is lit on the athleticism. <laughs> Um, speaking of your athleticism and super flying, you having you know your martial arts background. Mm -hmm. um, I remember in 2014, I met you at a DJ conference with Diggy Simmons. Yes, that's my bro. You were doing like a tour, and I remember. We were you doing know, the Who Else But Us tour. Right. Yeah. And I remember, um, you know, you know how they go up there and there's all these stuffy execs, and they're just looking around. Nobody knows. Nobody's really can't stand it. Paying attention. It's a disaster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but I was watching because I'm an artist, mm -hmm. so I pay attention. And I remember you were inside your show, and you just did like two flips <laughs> out of nowhere down to the stage. Yeah. Um, do you? <laughs> I was like, who just does flips in the middle of their step? Their set? Um, but with this type of background, what is the next role that you see yourself progressing in with martial arts, with I mean, you know I, I all this like, athleticism? Like you said, like the dream is to be a superhero. Obviously, I feel like those are the top of the top in terms of quality of film now. Mm -hmm. Like. 
you get the best composers, the best editors, the best directors, mm -hmm. the best uh, color guy for these superhero movies. So I would love, obviously, to be a superhero. But I mean, any movie with Denzel in it, any movie with Robert De Niro in it, I just want to be uh, ele elevated in some sort of way, inspired in some sort of way. Whatever mm -hmm. project I go into, I want to be able to pull something from it. So anybody that I've looked up to as a, as an actor that I've been inspired by is, is mm -hmm. a dream for me. Now you cool. are a quadruple threat. Uh, rapping, acting, you play you play instruments, um, and singing. Yeah. What is your most favorite thing to do out of all four of them? I think uh, I think the music, just because musically, in terms of um, videos and and the writing, everything is me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from the con content to the concepts, and it's just very, very everything Trevor has gone through to become this and. It just emanates from who I am, and when I act, I act as another person. Mm -hmm. This is a little farther from my soul, obviously, but everything musically, the things that I write and the things that I want to come across are very True much from you. who I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, switching gears, Grownish has yeah. been doing so well, and it's made its mid-season return earlier this month. Mm -hmm. um, what are you most excited for audiences to see at this point, I mean, at this stage in the game, and how has your character progressed? Uh, I'm most excited for them to see themselves on screen. I feel like that's why Grunge is so dope is because it's so real and we talk about things that people mm -hmm. are uh, really afraid to talk about. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I think the number one fear in life is to feel like you're alone, right? And I feel like this show lets you know that you're not. And it's about the becoming a uh, kid to an adult. And I feel like you never really become an adult. I feel like you just get uh, an older kid. Like you still really <laughs> never have it. <laughs> it's a bunch of grown you, yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. We around. never have it figured out. We're all just trying to find our place. And uh, I think it's about self-discovery. Mm -hmm. And the more you know about yourself, the better you know how to position yourself and what ticks. You know what makes you tick, what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And um, I think this show, you kind of start seeing everybody kind of get into their groove of what makes them tick and uh, what doesn't. Um, and for my character, he's on the same thing. You know, always trying to change the world. But I, I feel like even in my real life, when I was younger, I knew what I wanted to do. And then I started realizing why, and then it was the how. And I think he's in the how, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's like, always known I wanted to change the world, I want to do this. And then he's, you know, he knew why. And now it's like, how do I do that successfully? Because, you know, maybe I'm doing it at my school, but it's not a big enough scale. And I feel right. like he's just searching for mm -hmm. a bigger way to kind of impact uh, his, his community. And I want to, you know, end on your music because I can tell that music is pretty much the nucleus of who you are. For sure. Um, as an artist, I get it, I mm -hmm. understand. <laughs> um, Rough Drafts Part 2. Yeah. Um, it's great. Thank I you so much. I listen to it. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much. You're doing your thing. Okay, what is the central theme of Rough Drafts Part Two and why, tell the people why they need to go get it. I think it's self-acceptance for me. That was like a huge thing. Um, as I've gone through my life, I, there's never been anything bad that's ever happened to me that hasn't made sense later, right? Mm -hmm. So then I started to not be upset when things would happen to me. And mm. it made my life so much more peaceful and when stuff would happen, I would almost smile and be like, Damn, like this is how it's supposed to go. You feel me? And it just made that my my uh, my involvement like easier. Mm. And I want to spread that. I feel like people get so stressed out, especially now we see things on the phones that are like perfect, and we want to skip steps. And there's no skipping steps. To be who you gotta be, you gotta fall down a trillion mm. times. And mm. That's even why I called the album Rough Drafts. Uh, not just because I made it in my living room, but literally there's. I failed at love, I failed at so many things, but I haven't been like in my room like, oh my God, my life sucks, I want to die. You know, I'm just been like, okay, now what? What, is, what was the purpose, what was the meaning mm. for that? And so now I just kind of, like I said, look at everything that happens in my life and I smile and it just makes me happy and I don't really stress as much. And uh, so that's what the album is about. Oh, that's awesome. He's yes. wise, too, he beyond so his good. years. Yeah, and I'm, I'm so proud of him. And you can check out Trevor, Al Trevor Jackson's new album, Rough Drafts Part 2, on all streaming platforms. And if you're sticking around for the full hour, um, you can play Love It or He Play. We play Love It or yeah, Leave It with Trevor yeah, Jackson. Yeah. Oh, that so that's very fun. fun as well. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right, and the conversations continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV. But the fact that he is, like, just, like, all over the place is yeah. really yeah. just a He's beautiful thing. He's super talented, thing. though. He's I mean, be great. he is a director's dream. 
Wolverine. Yes. That's what he is. Yes. Yes. That's exactly and, what he and, is. And, and, and so versatile. I love yeah. the versatility. When you can have an artist that can do so many different things, I mean, his the trajectory of his career is out of here. Yeah. 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 So it was everything, too. Yeah. yeah. It was very, very quite contrary. It was it? It was good. It's super super cool. Cool. Oh, honey, I love it. So and I went good. to watch it together. Yeah. 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 I think he inspired my next car. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I got it already. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I'm next. I'm next. We'll be right back for those of you who are sticking around for the full hour. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with Trevor Jackson, and we could not let him leave without getting all up and through his business. Mm -hmm. So we have a game that we like to play down to the circle called Love It or Leave It. This is your paddle. All right. Okay. So I'm going to name I'm assuming Chuck. this is the Love It one, and this is the Leave It one. That is correct. Got it. You're, th you're, that is correct. Eyes mean you love, and then the shade means you don't. Okay, so Got I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna name something, and Got you it. tell me whether you love it or leave it. Okay. It. You want me to tell you? Or want me to show you? You gonna show the people Got down it. to the to the to the TV Got whether it. or not you love it or leave it. Okay. Talking on the phone. Okay, it's old school. Yeah, you don't have time <laughs> to try and prepare a good answer for me. I like the rawest version of a person I can get. You know what I'm saying? We can stand for minutes. What should I say? What should I do? Should I say like this? But the realest reaction is the realest you'll get from a person. You know what I'm saying? This dude is from another planet. When I tell you, the, <laughs> the grown man planet. Um, well, manscaping. What is that? See, he's from another planet. Um, that's when you get a haircut, but in a different place. <sighs> It should either be gone or not touched. You know what I'm saying? There shouldn't be really like so a design. So a man going Brazilian. On. It should be gone. Yeah, it should be gone or it should all be there. It should be the jungle or it should be scorched earth. You know? So can I like do this? <laughs> we'll do this. So yes and no. Okay. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. Okay. Yeah. Netflix and chill. I love Netflix. Me too. It gets hard because I spend two and a half hours finding what I'm gonna watch. It's so and much then stuff I get on to Netflix. it, I'm gonna watch and I fall asleep. It's yeah. so much stuff on Netflix. I'm You're like, never gonna I need catch you guys up. to, they need to do a limit. <laughs> yeah, they need Monthly. to stop. Just stop. Only just these many things this month <laughs> because I can't do it. They play too much. They really do. <laughs> okay, carrying a man bag. You nope. have to carry a backpack? I don't even like the, what do they call it? The, the crossbody. That's the man bag. The, no, but the fanny packs. The fanny packs, oh man. Not even a fan of that, no. Okay, well. Pockets, we have pockets. We do, we do. How many things do you need? <laughs> you need lipstick? What do, you, what do we do? We don't need that much stuff. Phone, wallet, hotel, key card if you have if you have that. <laughs> what else do I need a bag for? Sorry. Okay, well he says no to that. I'm a little stressed. About Again, that. another planet. Um, sliding in the DMs, Oh no, you see a girl sad and then you slide down to the DM. I see a girl what? So like if you see a girl that you like mm -hmm. on the Instagram or in person. Yeah. You slide down to her DM to holler at her. Sure. I mean, <laughs> I think it's no different from the number these days. It's kind of the same, same access. Okay. Now do you have a girlfriend that you've slid down to the DMs to Do talk I have to? a girlfriend? No. Uh, so do, is there someone that I've slid in their DMs for sure? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Have I gotten a response? No. <laughs> but I mean, what are you gonna do? But you don't have a girlfriend, so ladies, he's very single. Well, Trevor, we're, again, we're so excited that you came down to the circle to hang with Thank us. You're you so officially much. in the circle. Yeah. We love you, you can come back. And if you wanna follow Trevor, where do we follow you on social you media? You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at TrevorJackson5, my website, officialtrevorjackson.com. And then? Be kind. Watch Grownish, okay? Love Cause God. that's where he's gonna be, down to the TV. Thank you so much. Thank you. We love you. We wish you well. Peace. Uh, good job. <laughs> later, later. He's so adorable. Don't you he just is. love wow. like, he's cracking jokes, but the whole time his face still stay like this. Right, right. right. <laughs> I thought it had too much bow tie. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm a telephone thing. I'm a talker. I don't like all that text. Sometimes it's get tired of text thing. Did he say I, talk? I want a guy to call me on the phone. Hey. hey. How you doing? That's why I told him he was yeah. like old school. Like he has a very old soul, uh -huh. which was very refreshing for young people. Absolutely, yes. because they they live by text. That's they, all they, they do. do. Yeah, I'm guilty. Sometimes I live down to. Yeah, text. I know you do, babe. Yeah, because yeah. because we're in a place where 
we don't feel like talking. I don't, no, I don't have a whole lot of time to sit up and write a dissertation on the, the, the text. You definitely don't. Just pick up the phone, call me, let's get it done. Thank let's you. have the That's discussion. Well, when I chatted with Trevor, he was midway through the first run of his Rough Drafts 2 tour. Be sure to keep an eye on future dates for that. And also make sure you get Trevor's new album, Rough Drafts Part 2, which is available on all streaming platforms. Woo!